In the heart of New Haven, Yale is one of the city's oldest institutions and one of the largest, with more than 20,000 students, faculty, and staff, and its own police force. But the mysterious and troubling disappearance of doctoral student Annie Lee, with intensive media coverage of the investigation, is most unwelcome publicity. In a series of emails, university officials urge the Yale community not to speak to reporters who can be very aggressive in situations like this, where there are more questions than answers. Many at Yale follow the directive. This group, for example, declined this reporter's questions. It's not a matter for the news. No. One crisis management expert says Yale is in a difficult position. Instead of us thinking of an Ivy League institution and an excellent education, we're thinking about crime and safety. Four days after Lee's disappearance, the university's police chief sought to reassure the Yale community. We have many physical security items in, in place to help us with this investigation, to include over 70 cameras. The concern reaches far beyond the New Haven campus. His parents are like calling in, like checking, you know, are you safe? Today, authorities continue to work in the laboratory where Annie Lee was last seen. Authorities reportedly have discovered bloody clothing in the ceiling of the building. Published reports say the clothing is not Lee's. Investigators are also pouring through garbage at a Hartford waste facility looking for clues. Are you at all nervous about walking around the campus and doing your day-to-day -day tasks? No, I can't say that it's made me any more fearful, but I am aware that it has made others on campus fearful. The FBI continues to head up the investigation, numbering some 100 law enforcement authorities from Yale, the city of New Haven, and the state of Connecticut in an all-out effort to find Annie Lee. Russ? Randall Pinkston in New Haven, Connecticut. Thank you very much.